Hey guys, what's up? Another video for the Camaro project. Today we're going to be tackling the whole area of the headlight. The headlight, uh, not the headlight itself, but the brackets um, that the headlights attach to, um, the little bezels around the headlights, and also the headlight bucket, whatever that area is called in front of the headlight. Um, I have an RS. It didn't come with the um, colored, the, the dark, the black buckets. I think only the Z28s and the IROCs came with the black headlight buckets, uh, but I, just because I have an RS doesn't mean I don't want to go fast, okay? I do want black headlight buckets. So basically we're going to be going from this to this. All right, now this process, you don't need to remove the front bumper. It's going to take a Phillips screwdriver, um, uh, some vinyl right here, a little $10 roll of vinyl. I'll link this down below. Uh, a thing called knifeless tape. You might know what, not know what this is, but you're gonna find out real soon. I'll link this down below. This costs like seven, eight bucks maybe. We're gonna use some primer. We're gonna use some flat paint, some flat black paint, and then some gloss black paint. The flat paint is going to be for the plastic housing that the headlight assembly sits in. Uh, the two separate headlight assemblies sit in, and then the gloss black paint is gonna be for the actual metal trim bezels that the headlights sit in. You're also gonna need some sandpaper. Um, also, uh, this little uh, pick hook thing. It came in a kit with um, this. It all came in a kit, maybe like 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it down below. But this little curved J hook fake looking one, you're gonna need that as well. But yeah, everything will be linked down in the description. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so we're looking here at the headlight assembly. Uh, mine's got a little bit of weight. Every, I think a lot of them have little imperfections like this in them, but whatever. Um, so you probably know about these two screws up here at the top of each of the headlight assemblies, right? You take these out right here in order to access, let me show you. This is how you initially would get the light bulb out. It's just like this, and it comes out. And there's my seven millimeter socket I've been looking for. So I'm gonna undo my headlight. I have a, probably an extra step involved in this that you might not have. I have a, um, these have a, a halo around them uh, all the way around their edge. I'll link the video down below to how to install these and where to find them. Or I'll link these down below if you want them. Um, but I have an extra wire that I have to disconnect from back here. I'm gonna do that real quick. Now I take these two screws out for this top one up here. And then I take this bulb out. Okay, so a lot of you have probably already come this far with uh, headlight removal, but what you might not know is there are two screws um, that uh, actuate the angle this way, uh, left and right, that the headlight sits. And they are, there's one back here. Can you see that Phillips screw right down there? See that one back there? And there's one on the other side over here. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Right there. So this screw right here and then this screw back here have to come out as well as this screw up top and this screw up top. Now the top screws are what angle it up and down like this. The side screws are what hold it in like that. And on the inner part right here, I'll show you here in a second, there's a spring that uh, adds tension to the inside. Now, if you wanna be safe, you can take some like electrical tape or Tessa tape or something like that, cut a little, piece off like this and then run it along the inside of this edge right here like that because your screwdriver is going to be pushing up against this your screwdriver is going to have to be pushing up against this to get to that screw right see if i push it i can get to it right see now i'm in it and so you're going to be scratching this paint if you don't put some electrical tape there or something like that Although I'm going to be plant, I'm covering this whole thing with black vinyl, so it doesn't matter super much, um, but I'm going to do it just in case. Also, I'm going to squirt a little uh, PB blaster on these, like these top screws up here where they go in, and then the side screws. I found that helps them get out quite a bit easier. Yeah, now it's like butter. Okay, I'm going to take all these screws out and we'll be right back. First headlights out. This is in horrible shape in here. This is really bad. Look at all this stuff, just like, I think it's just maybe dirt, I don't know. But what I wanted to show you was this spring right here. See that spring under there? Let me get you a closer look. So this spring right here, it's attached around the back half here on the rear end of this. This is the other side of the spring. 
You can see it move with it. This little piece right here, it hooks around the back of this bracket. You have your headlight in here, right? And you have an anchor point up top for the top adjustment. And you have the anchor point over here for the, uh, adjust, the lateral adjustment. Um, but if you don't have it secured on this end, then it just wobbles around in the socket. That's what this spring is for. And when you're putting it back together, that's what this little J hook is for. So you can reach under here and grab it with the J hook and stretch it out and reapply it right here to this. I can kind of demonstrate it for you. When you get this back in there like that, the spring goes right into this, the inside of that right there. shot of what's going on here. So you're going to stretch the spring out like this and just hook it right there like that and you've got tension. So if you don't have this tool or something very similar to it, you're going to have to take, you would have to take your whole front bumper off in order to reattach these springs on both sides. So this is going to be your lifesaver. And again, I'll link this down below and everything you need. Um, but this is what, you, this is the main, this is going to save you a ton of time. Also, if you didn't know, um, hidden behind this lip, this bottom lip here, uh, there's actually two more screws on your headlight bracket. Now these are both going to have to come out. Um, I'm going to take these two screws out right here, and then I'm going to take this headlight assembly out, and then we'll be right back. So now we have two headlight assemblies that we are going to... Uh, first, I'm going to run a wire, wire brush uh, on an impact, one of the wire uh, wheel brush attachments, and get clean this up, basically. And then we're going to primer it, then we're going to paint these gloss black. And then in here, I'm going to kind of uh, get this gunk situation figured out, see what's going on here. Um, clean this all up a little bit, and then sand the top. The top's a little bit rough, uh, just with maybe like a 100 grit sandpaper or something like that, a sanding block. And then uh, we're going to paint this whole thing. We're going to tape off from here down, and on the outsides, we're going to tape all that off. We're going to put some stuff behind here as well. And then we're going to spray this with flat black. That's what I did on this side over here, and you can see this flat black. I see, so I sanded this a little bit, um, did the flat black, put stuff behind it and around it to protect it, and then um, it matches this pretty well. All right, I'm not going to show you all the really boring monotonous stuff, me sanding down the parts. For you and your application, you can just sand down or finish down the parts to whatever is satisfactory to you, or you could just buy new parts if you wanted. Um, I'm just gonna sand mine down and uh, refinish them myself though. We'll skip all that and we'll go straight to the primer. Uh, with the primer, first I'm gonna use a uh, self-etching primer, sticks works really well with metal um, on the headlight buckets themselves. And then for the uh, black plastic bracket under the hood, I'm just gonna use regular old uh, automotive, whatever this primer bottle is that I have. All right, now for the headlight uh, metal pieces, we're going to paint it all uh, gloss black and uh, when you're painting these there's a lot of little crevices and corners you got to make sure you hit all the angles really well um, otherwise you're going to miss some stuff um, I came close to missing some stuff on the last one so I know it's kind of tricky it's it's deceiving to the eye so make sure you do a full 360 around every time you do a coat I'm going to do two coats total of the black uh, gloss and then I'm also going to do two coats of the flat black on this plastic uh, housing inside the, where the headlight bezels go, whatever you'd call it. Here are the metal headlight bezels and stuff. Not perfect or anything, but definitely doable, definitely usable. All right, so now we get to the part of vinyl wrapping this right here. I'm using a black satin uh, vinyl wrap here. I'll link this down below and I'll link this down below, which is something you're gonna need. Um, but this is a black satin vinyl wrap. It's from uh, Vivid. They're pretty well known in the vinyl wrap world, I guess. But I went with a satin instead of a gloss because I think the satin is more like the closer to the GM finish, uh, the stock finish on these headlight buckets. You might need one of these also. You don't really need it, but it will definitely come in handy for flattening out the vinyl on this headlight bucket right here. And these, sometimes they'll actually come with these or like when you buy this, uh, sometimes this will come with it. Uh, if not, it's like five bucks for a kit of like these things, I mean, maybe but I'll link all this stuff down below. Now you're probably wondering what this is. This is called knifeless tape. Now knifeless tape is just a thin strip of tape um, that does a really cool thing with vinyl wrap. So if you look here on the underside, the sticky side of this tape, there is a very thin uh, fishing line, which uh, uh, disconnects from the tape uh, when you start pulling it up. Now, what does that do? Let me kind of uh, explain the method to you here. And it's very simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this thin piece of tape and you're gonna run it all along this edge right here where you want the vinyl to cut off. Otherwise, you would be laying vinyl here and like trying to get a razor around the edge here without scratching this paint, um, which is not a great idea. So you take this knifeless tape 
and you, you wrap it all the way around this whole bezel here. And then underneath here, this is kind of a tricky edge under here. Let me kind of give you a better angle. With this edge, you, you got a nice clean straight edge here. You go all around this side and then here you get this like weird concave or convex, whatever the correct terminology is, like dip insert in here. So what I did on the other side, you can see on this B-roll here, is I went and I just went right under that uh, to make it simpler. Now, it does leave you the little gap uh, right there that at the very end of this, the little triangle, um, but I don't think anybody's really looking at that and I don't really care that much about that. I've tried installing vinyl wrap one time before and it was actually on the trunk lid of the Camaro and it was such a big piece, it was super difficult, but this is super easy. I'm putting some uh, isopropyl alcohol on here I'm gonna clean this surface off really thoroughly so that the vinyl will adhere to it much better. I'm gonna get a little bit on the towel here and reach around to the back side of this lip back here just to clean that because the vinyl will be adhering to that. Um, if it doesn't, it's not a huge deal. The headlights come out to like right here so it's you're not gonna see it either way. But just, just for optimum results I'm gonna do that all right and now I'm gonna show you how to lay the knifeless tape down so when you start with the knifeless tape you're gonna to want to leave like a four five six inch overhang on the side like that so I have extra right there that way I can peel it off because you want to get the fishing string started before the edge of the vinyl and I'll show you why here in a minute and you need to be kind of mindful about which side uh, the fishing line is on. It's on the, this side of the tape. So I'm running my line uh, accordingly. And then here comes the first curve. You kind of want to take it slow just kind of slowly conform it. You don't want to rush it. And that looks pretty good for the curve. And we got another straight here. All right, we come to the second curve here. Let me get you a different angle, hold on. All right, so we're just gonna take it nice and slow. Just kind of slowly conform it to that edge. And that looks good to me. All right, then we run up this side. And then right here, I'm gonna kind of wrap, kind of gradually wrap in like that, so it's gonna cut off right there. So you're gonna have that little gap there. But I mean, you could make it a little smaller if you can get the line to curve the right way like that. And I just run along this inside edge here. Like that, and we leave some overhang, of course. And then we just cut this off like that. All right, so we got the knifeless tape line run. Um, this is my piece of vinyl. This came in a uh, six foot roll, I believe. So it was, so it's one and a half feet by six feet. Again, I'll link this little roll down below. So it's perfect for doing this. I did the other side and then I have this much left for this side, which is plenty plus some. So you have some left over. Um, but I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just, I'm not concerned about saving a foot of vinyl. So I'm going to peel a little bit right here in the middle. Let me see if I can get it. Close, let's start from this side. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of slip this underneath this little fin right here. Get it slipped underneath there oh, without sticking it. Hopefully right under there, just like that. And there we go, there's our kind of center anchor point right there for the uh, vinyl. So now, I can just kind of rip a bunch of this out, this backing over here, and I'll lay this in there, like that, get a rough. And don't worry, you can peel this and redo it, it's not a big deal. And then same thing for this side. this little thing to kind of lay it flat there. All right, so we're gonna kind of peel a little bit off here. You see the bubbles right here? Kind of get them out, there we go. Get 
the rest peeled off. And remember this little spot under here is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, and ideally we want this wrap to fold over this side, okay? So as close as we can get it to doing that, the better. And now I'm working on getting it stuck to this edge over here. Now this doesn't have to be pretty over here at all. I'm just getting it wrapped around so the knifeless tape can cut this line cleanly. So I'm gonna use this heat gun a little bit. It's not something you need, but uh, it's definitely helpful with vinyl as far as getting these corners to conform the way you want them. Just heat it up a little bit. I don't remember I got this one, probably on Amazon. I'll link one down below. You can just buy these for like 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. Looky there. Now we just want to make sure that the surface of this is flat up to the edge. Because once we get to the edge, it's going to be cut off, so it doesn't really matter. So as long as we're flat up to the edge, we should be good. Now I'm going to cut some of this excess off to make it easier to deal with. And then right here in this corner, there's a lot of tension, so I'm just going to do what's called a relief cut, and that's just going to relieve the tension so this will lay down there much easier. See? Again, I want to stress, I'm not very good at this, but this is actually pretty easy to do, this small amount. Let's get a relief cut on this side. Get that to where it's easy to lay down or easier. Like that. And that should be good. All you're making sure is this flat. This is flat um, all the way over here, this whole flat surface. The edge, you don't give a crap about. All that's gonna be cut off. So now let's show you the wonder of knifeless tape. All right, so here's our tape. We're gonna separate the fishing line from the tape here at the top, like that. And we're gonna pull it down to here. And what you do is you put your finger right here where the tape meets the vinyl or it's gonna rip into it, and you wanna make sure it's a straight cut and not ripping vinyl up. So you hold the vinyl down, and you just give this a little jerk like that, and then watch this. See it cutting that line? And you kinda of wanna pull in the direction that, the, the, uh, that it's going, right? Now here's where the tricky part is. It's gonna go right under there. It's gonna cut that out. Like that. Not ready? Here we go. Okay, so now there's just a little bit of uh, cleanup to do right here. Pull that out. Now with your knifeless tape, there's gonna be this, the red parts left. So you just go and you pull that up like that. You just kind of press your edges down, make sure they're all down. There you go. And by no means is this perfect. You can kind of see like the little edges there are not perfectly straight, um, but they're pretty decently straight. So now we just go and cut all this loose stuff off the back. You can kind of feel where the edge of your um, thing is there. Kind of just start cutting pieces off. And again, this is stuff you'll never see. So the edge is right here on this. So we'll cut maybe a centimeter from that. Like that, get that wrapped around. And the edges, just make some relief cuts to help it lay flat. Use a heat gun, get it malleable. Kind of wrap it over the edge there. Just like that. All right, and that's what we what we end up what we end up with there. Now all I got to do is install these uh, light fixtures back in there, 
put the light fixtures, I use the same word for both, <laughs> right back in there and then it'll be good to go. Okay, so remember when I talked about this tool in the beginning? This is gonna be essential for getting underneath your light fixture and pulling this spring. That spring rests inside this little groove right here in your light fixture and anchors this side down because the only other anchors are gonna be up top right here and then on this side over here. Let me walk you through that. Let's kind of fish our light fixture in here from the side. Let's grab this hook first, spring. Kind of fish our light fixture in like that. And then I'm gonna grab this spring pull it out and boom locked it in so that's that parts locked in down there now I just have to screw down this adjusting screw and that adjusting screw and that anchors this whole thing in I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and we'll be back all right guys so that is it finished right um, it looks really cool I love the look of it now this is not uh, doesn't have to be a permanent solution it could be a permanent solution the vinyl um, uh, it's for me it's just a I want to see how it looks drive it around for a little while and then if I do like the look of it I'll just end up painting it to to this color um, because I think the paint will look just a little bit better than the vinyl and uh, should be pretty easy to do but you could totally just live with this vinyl and uh, keep it like that um, because you might see like up close you'll see like the little bit of like mess ups and everything and then if you get under there you see like the little cut out or whatever that's missing but nobody's really looking at that even you won't really notice it unless you're really right down on it but anyways guys that's the end of the video again i'll link everything down below to do this it's really simple the knifeless tape is an awesome awesome invention um, but i'll link it all down below check it out thanks again for watching have a great day bye